Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial to get this look. Um, I'm going to be using the Extreme Playbook by Avon eyeshadow palette and some Lisa Armstrong makeup. Uh, I'm also be going to do quite a good giveaway at the end of it, um, so stay tuned for details how to uh, be with a chance of winning. So if you'd like to see this look, how I create it, keep watching. I'm going to be going in with the Extreme Playbook from Avon um, and I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the video so stay tuned for that I will give you more details uh, later on in the video and show you what um, the giveaway is going to be. So straight away I'm going to go straight in with my foundation and I'm going with the a new Swirl and I've got two colours in this. Um, One's too dark, one's too light, so I'm simply mixing them together to get a colouring that will be fine on my skin. And once again, what I've said in this, because you see um, dark and cream, it's actually got a moisturiser in it. So it's moisturising your skin as well as giving you your foundation. Do the lips as well. I'm actually looking down because I'm actually looking in the mirror at what I'm doing. And don't forget to do your neckline. Because as I say, I think you're not aware sometimes of the um, the line that you get when you just do your face. So bringing that down all the way across, fetching it down to the bottom of my neck. And I'm just going to go over my cheeks again because it's a, a buildable um, foundation this. And as we're all getting older, we are getting um, blemishes, um, age spots, etc. on his face. So to have a good foundation, let me just rub it in there. No pencil today, and it's a dual-ended one, which is the um, dual-ended brow from the Avon True range with the uh, in dark brown and it's the pencil with the spoolie on the end. So let's start off by just brushing my brows across and penciling that in. This is not actually as harsh as um, or as deep as the powder one I use. You're simply just filling in uh, the sparse areas. Right, let's just spool it over that again. So what I'm going to do today, normally I will put my concealer on top and bottom uh, at the same time. But today I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my under eyes. Uh, last. I'm basically just blend that in. I'm just going to rub that with my fingers because sometimes when you leave it, it looks like you've got um, light dots of your cream because it's not blended in right. Okay, so the palette that I'm going in with, as I said, is the Playbook Extreme Book. And these have got some lovely, beautiful colours in them. Let me just 
lift these up so you can see the colours that are in there. Beautiful colours for summer. The first one I'm going to be going in with is Transcender Call It and it is this top silver one. And I'm simply going to start by putting this on my bottom lid. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Silvery grey. And then the next colour that I'm going to be going in with is going to be Legendary. And it's shade number 16. And it's actually this fuchsia pink one. Okay, so let's get that tapped in there. I'm going to start on the outer corner. And then bringing it over. I'm going to bring it up. That's another pretty colour, isn't it, for summer? Bringing it over. So what I'm going to go in with now then, on the outer corner to give it a bit more deep definition, it's on the opposite side and this one's called Unleashed and it is the deeper pink here. So you can just see there's a couple of shades difference in that. So I'm just going to dab this on the corners. You can just see straight away that that is... A deeper mulberry colour for the corners and I'm applying this in a thin flat brush so it's perfect for patting on and I'm going to get my blender I'm just going to take that over dragging it over Let's set that a little bit higher on both eyes. Right, so I'm going to go underneath. As a liner, I'm going to go in first of all with the uh, lighter pink. I'm just going to put that underneath. And then I'm just going to go in with the darker one and I'm going to take that a little bit higher up. Okay, I'm going to get the blender again and I'm just going to blend that in, just soften it. And then what I'm going to go in with, and this is on the inner corner of my brow, and it's actually called Limitless, and it is the matte white at the bottom there. And this is a very flat white. So you can see there, I'm just going to take it up a little bit there, just around the corner, taking it up a little bit there. You can just see there how it just does look better by just putting some lighter shade on your inner corners. And then I'm just going to go in under the brow.
taking that down. I'm going to be using today, and I haven't used it before, and it's the Lisa Armstrong uh, Tattoo Eyeliner in No. It's only available in one colour at the minute. Uh, I think it came in um, into Avon in November 2020. So this is, it's quite a nice looking packaging in um, rose gold. It's a felt tip pen. So I'm going to start by literally going close to my lash line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a blender to soften it. Now that has softened lovely, hasn't it? But with that, you will need to act quick because I don't know what the drying time is on it, but if it's dried, it won't blend. So as soon as I've got that on, I'm going to go in with that blender. A little bit's just come down there. Now I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker because it's a little bit thicker on the other one. So let me just make that a little bit higher to match it up. But yeah, I'm pleased how that's blended, blended. So this is an easy product to use. And if you do flakes, um, even better for you. Right, so what I'm going to do now then, I'm going to do my mascara, which is going to be the Big Bad Gal Bang in Black. And this is my favourite go-to at the minute. A second coat on here. Okay, so that's that. That's to put a bit of concealer under there. Not a lot, just a bit. And then I'm going to get my blender. And I'm simply going to blend that in. Right, so let's go in then with the chisel cheek. And this is my Barry M go to when it comes to contouring. Because what I seem what I seem to be doing at the minute is I'm not bronzing at all. I'm simply uh, just contouring my face, uh, buffing it in, and then that is doing me. I don't feel there's any need to do both. Okay, let me just get a little bit down the nose. Now that, that might look messy on, but once it's buffed in. And with your, when you're contouring your nose, if you've got a wide set nose and you're contouring it, it's actually making it, giving that the illusion that it's a narrower nose because it's shadowing it. So that's why people tend to um, contour their noses. 
and then I'm going to do it on my forehead and bring it down to the temple in circular motions let's get that hair out of the way and you're basically just going up to your hairline and I see when I come down to my temples I, I try to stop at the end of my brow uh, that's my cut off point okay so across the jawline right up to the ear is where I'm going to do my contouring right to the ear I'm bringing it down and blending that all in under the chin and what I'm going to do I'm literally going to dab that in good and proper and take it under my chin fetching it down my neck um, and all the way across and that for me is my contouring done so I'm going to go in now with my uh, strobe and glow highlighter and this is Moa Lux in the in the shade uh, pearl gold now there is this is like a strobing powder um, but you can see with that I don't really rate that as such. I, I, in fact, I never use it. But underneath, you've got this like beautiful uh, cream um, highlighter. And I'm just going to pat that across the top of my um, cheekbone. And I'm trying not to go in where the creases are because it's a cream. It will just sit there. And the same on the other side. And this just looks as if the, the light's catching your face. I always put some on the end of my nose. I'm just going to run it just slightly down the top of my nose, nose as well. So with my blush, uh, I picked this up again in a drugstore in America. And I think what I was looking for when I actually got these was I was looking in England for a red eyeshadow, a red eyeshadow couldn't find any at the time so uh, I bought two of these one was in um is it wild berry and this one's actually raspberry so there were two different shades so basically I bought these uh and initially I was using them as eyeshadows but now I've started using them as blushes so literally I just took one two taps I've done two because one was just down uh, and I go up where my nose is across and tap it up one two across and start tapping it up and you don't need a much a lot of this because it is so deep the color and then I'm going to simply take my um, my face powder brush and blend that in and you can just see there I've just got a lovely uh, flush look but without going overboard so on top I'm going to go in with the a new nude beige uh, press powder this is only done in two shades, um, but the other one uh, is too light for me, so this is the shade that I go for. Now, this is aimed uh, for mature skin, but um, both my daughters use it and they love it. Now, when it's on offer in the Avon book, you can pick it up uh, for £6.50. Uh, but that's the uh, the offer price. I think, how much is it when it's full price? Is it about £12? Yeah, I think it's about £12. So when you can pick it up for £6.50, um, it's a great price. And I buy them when they're on offer. So that has set um, my makeup. So for my lips today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the Lisa Armstrong and it's uh, Tora and T. Now, this has got great staying power. It really has. Um, you don't have to top it up much. The lid is a magnetic lid. So that is great. And the liner, it's the, this is the matching colour to the lipstick.
so that is the end result with my makeup guys i think this lipstick goes really well with the eye colors uh, i think it's a lovely lovely combination for a nice summer day so um i'm just going to get the um giveaway together and show you what's in the giveaway now what you've got to do for the giveaway to be with a chance of winning it is four things one you need to be subscribed to my channel two you need to leave me a comment and a comment i'm not going to class as hi tina so you need to leave me a comment on uh what you think to the video uh if you like the colors um if there's anything you didn't like two hit that thumbs up sign to say that you've liked the video and four share the video with your family and friends so let me get the giveaway uh, ready to show you so this is going to be the giveaway that i'm going to be giving away and what we've got is we've got the um eyeshadow which is in satin top we've got a brown black glimmer stick eyeliner we've got a five in one lash genius mascara and that's in black we've got a show and glow this is an eyeshadow and it is a glittery um flick stick and that's in gold so this will complement this eyeshadow on your inner corners uh your lower lid and maybe even your um under brow and then we've got a lipstick which is in um blush plum so these colors all complement each other in um natural skin tones so that is the gift that is one gift and it's a it's a pretty decent gift to win so that's the gift that i'm going to be giving away this um with this tutorial now you obviously know what you need to do to be with a chance of winning but even guys if um this is something you're not going to use if you know a lady that uses makeup it could be your girlfriend your wife your mum your grandma anybody that uses makeup this is something you can re-gift so don't think well, no point in me entering of course there is now last time i did a giveaway it was in one of my um facial tutorials and literally it was between two or three women so uh i mean now if i have only got 34 subscribers so um you've got a pretty good chance but you have got to be in it to win it so thanks again for watching uh take care everybody and see you soon bye for now